Hey everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode we're going to be talking about how to change eye color of a subject using adjustment layers and simple layer masks in Affinity Photo. Changing the eye color of a subject is really, really easy and what it is is actually a practice in using layer masks and adjustment layers to get the right color and tone to really just manipulate that image to your liking. And so we're gonna do that today using Affinity Photo. If you're using some other program, it's probably really similar if it's a photo editing program. So when you look at the photo that I have on screen right now, you can see I have this nice photo of a girl and her eye, like really, really close up. And she has really, really nice eye color, but there's a lot of things that I could do to it to accentuate her eyes. I might just wanna pop out the natural color of it. I might wanna completely change the color of it and make her like a werewolf or something. You can make as small or large adjustments as you'd like using these, but I'm just gonna show you what we're gonna to accomplish today, is we're gonna add a little bit of green color to one side of her eye. Then we're going to come around and kind of give contrast to the entire eye. Um, and then after that, we're going to just drop a little bit of more of like a glimmer, some vibrance inside her eye. It's really, really subtle, but if I zoom way in, you'll notice almost like there's stars kind of firing off in her eye. Now all I have is just the photo with the eye. And the first thing we're going to do is drop some layer adjustments on it, okay? So we're going to head over to the adjustment panel. We're going to go all the way down to... HSL, wherever HSL adjust is, right there. And we're gonna start messing with the different hues and the different colors. So. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna, we're just looking at the eye right now. We wanna zoom in. We wanna hit a levels adjustment, okay? We wanna bring the levels adjustment right down on top of the background so it's reading the background. And we wanna drag the black layers over and we wanna drag the white layers over right here to the edges. So we're kind of bringing the contrast. This is the same if you're doing video editing and you're using like Lumetri scopes. You're literally just bringing more contrast to the image and getting it to really kind of pop out. Okay, so now here is kind of like the effect that we've gotten with this eyeball. How do we just kind of single out the eye? Well, there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, you could probably like take the pen tool and cut around the eye if you want. Me personally, what I like to do is just come down here and create a, a layer mask. I just mask that layer. I make sure I click on that layer. I get my brush tool out. I'm gonna make it real big like this. I'm gonna turn off one of these layers at a time. Okay, let's do the other one first, just see how drastic it is, okay? So we're gonna make her blue. We're gonna come in here. We need to get to the colors and we want to make sure like our flow and our hardness is all the way up. Now you can see with the flow and the hardness and the opacity of the brush all the way up, when I kind of take my brush, you can see that it wherever I brush now, because I have the black, it's going to knock out the presence of that layer mask. I can just paint away the presence of that adjustment layer. So we can go real big around the outside. We can kind of get a little closer to the eye and then just using the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard, then we can kind of make the brush a little smaller and you just work your way in just like that. And if you want, you can go up and look at the brushes and grab even like a softer brush, okay? And you can just kind of paint in these hard spots right here. Paint all that in. And you can see now we just have an eye recolored, right? Crazy, crazy how just like, just doing that gives such a crazy effect to the eye, okay? So there we have it right there. Next thing we can do is uh, we can click on that and you can kind of see what areas are still left. So I just press, I held down command and I clicked on the layer mask right there and I can just deselect it and kind of get back in there a little bit. There we go, I see this spot over there still needs a little work and come up in here. Now if I click on it, you can see pretty much just the eye. If you mess up, if you're coming in here and you kind of take out a piece of the eye, of course you could always undo, but if you take out a piece of the eye like this, you can literally just go back to your color and click over to white and, and just paint that back in, right? And just go back and forth until you get the, kind of like the look and the effect that you like, okay. Okay. The next step that we wanna do is basically just repeat using that adjustment layer that we created, okay? So we're gonna just turn it on, we're gonna come in here. So 
now you have, I'm just gonna grab both of these and turn them on, turn them off. Okay, you can see like how crazy, and the, the great thing is it's a non-destructive layer. So if you don't like how contrast that kind of, uh, that eye is now, you can just go back and dial it down a little bit and just kind of keep working with the eye and make it a little bit more natural. That's it, it's that simple to change eye color using Affinity Photo, using simple layer masks and adjustment layers. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I like to do a lot of tutorials about design and development and photo manipulation just like this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you stick around. I hope you guys are having an amazing week and I hope you are making and designing amazing things. I'll talk to you guys soon, see ya.